This is Alim from Trimac with a critical tech tip for those of you who are working with complex imported geometry, especially if when you insert them inside an assembly, you just want the space claim, maybe the outer shape and some faces that you can use for mating. Uh, if you're looking on the part on the left, let's do a section view through it. You're going to find out that it's quite complex. Look how much detail there is in this part, right? It's, it's pretty uh, busy and all these extra faces on the inside would generate a lot of graphic triangles, also a lot of drawing lines. Let's take a look on the part on the left and you can see how the inside actually has been filled. The question is, how can you do that the fastest way possible without also increasing the file size? So if I'm looking at um, this two files, notice actually the second one it's uh, smaller by about 30%. And probably that can be increased even further or decreased even further. Uh, and I don't want to add any features in the tree in, in doing that. Well, guess what? The, your best friend is the import diagnostic tools, which many people think is useful just for fixing errors in imported geometry. Guess what? It's useful also for direct editing the part. And I'm using the word direct editing because I'm not going to leave any traces on what I'm going to do next. Notice actually this part has a topological error, so I'm going to kill it. Everything is good. We're green. Um, about uh, healing topological errors, we're going to have quite a lot of other um, tech tips. So stay tuned for that. But right now, let's talk about changing geometry using import diagnostics. I'm going to do it in two stages. I'm going to use this as a pair of scissors. So for example, I'm going to pick up this uh, face and I'm going to delete it from, um, from the body. So once the face is selected, right click on the empty space and use the option delete face. It's not the same thing as the delete face command inside SOLIDWORKS. There's not going to leave any features in the tree. Now let's continue to cut faces. I'm going to hold control and I'm going to select the, these faces of the fillet. The goal is to separate the inside of this part from the outside. So once you control selected these faces, press the delete face command. Let's exit from import diagnostics from a second. Obviously by deleting those faces, we created gaps. We no longer have solid bodies. We actually have two surface bodies. So let me hide the outer one. And you can see this is the inner surface body and this is the outer one. The good news is that you can actually have features that are connected to, to this um, surface body. So you can actually delete the feature. It's not going to leave any trace in the feature manager. Now, obviously we do, don't want to leave surface bodies in our part. So let's run import diagnostics for the second time. And I'll simply ask SOLIDWORKS to fill this gap. So I'm going to use the option attempt to heal. And it tells me there is one problem with this face, repair it. Again, we're going to get into details on why these problems appear and how to fix them. But the end result is actually a solid body. So uh, if I'm doing a section view, let's, let's say through here, you can see how much simpler this is. So now let's compare the result between what I have here and what I had before. So allow me to go back and undo all this stuff. That's another great thing about import diagnostics. Uh, works very well with the undo tool. Uh, and let me insert this inside an assembly. Okay, so let's insert this part. Let me pin this down. So I'm going to put one on one side and the one where we remove the cavities on the other side. Now let's take a look at the performance evaluation. Let's see what's going to tell us in regards to graphic triangles. So what do we see here? A drastic reduction in graphic complexity right away. Um, if we calculate the number of faces, if we calculate the number of edges, also there is a drastic uh, decrease in uh, complexity. The summary, import diagnostic, it's a fantastic tool. We're going to have quite a lot of extra uh, tech tips um, we're going to write a guide, actually, and even a course on how to use um, this tool. Uh, we're delivering a presentation at 3D Experience World in 2023, covering 10 different 
use cases of this tool and this is probably one of the most interesting one i hope you like it try it uh, let us know what you think thank you